Welcome to New Jersey Realtors Industry Update. I'm Jared Grasso, CEO of New Jersey Realtors. And I'm Eileen Horowitz, your 2019 president of New Jersey Realtors. As you can see, we're very pink today, and it's for a good reason. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is a topic that hits close to home for me. The annual campaign has a goal to increase awareness of the disease through spreading the word about the importance of mammographies and how early detection is critical. So please make sure to get checked. And now, for the latest industry news. Thank you, Eileen. In early October, Governor Murphy announced some critical changes to how the state will deal with existing lead on properties after receiving recommendations from the Lead in Drinking Water Task Force. The recommendations include requiring inspection and disclosure of lead paint, lead in soil, lead service lines, and lead in plumbing all at the time of sale or rental. Inspection and remediation requirements for all homes being rented that were built before 1978. And lastly, a call for funding solutions to offer no-cost mandatory lead service line replacement to homeowners across New Jersey. Now, many of these proposals would require state legislation. We are waiting for details to emerge about what exactly this could mean for property sales and the testing of properties, and we'll continue to update you. Wow, that's really important information. Thanks for all you do for us. On a lighter note, the start of the fall season brought two extraordinary events to the New Jersey Realtors membership at large. Dozens of Realtors visited our Trenton headquarters to celebrate being a Realtor at our second annual Realtor Palooza. There are continuing education classes, headshots, bingo, games, a cornhole tournament, food trucks, craft beer, and great networking opportunities. We are lucky to have such a beautiful day with a great turnout for the event. However, one thing was not a beautiful turnout. Jared? Yes, the results of the Cornhole Tournament did not quite go as we expected. Hmm. How did it go, Jared? Doug and I lost. <laughs> Thank well, you, Eileen. Maybe next year you'll get the trophy. Following that was our first ever women's conference. Almost 100 New Jersey realtor women and men gathered to hear from experienced speakers about industry and business topics and help empower each other to reach new heights in our businesses. You know, Jared, one of the things I love most about these types of events is meeting new members. It was so refreshing to see so many new faces at both Realtor Palooza and the Women's Conference. We're lucky to have such talent within our association, and I really enjoy getting to meet the people that represent our business. I couldn't agree with you more. New faces bring new ideas, and we're always looking for new perspectives. Speaking of new perspectives, have you checked out the new Market Mindset Survey yet? I have. It has such great data that really complements what we're seeing day to day in the market. Absolutely. The Market Mindset data goes beyond numbers and sales, but aims to dig deeper into the sentiment that our professionals have about the market. So what were some of the key takeaways this quarter? So for fall 2019, members are seeing an average of three offers received on a property. Four out of 10 members surveyed say that the prices are about the same compared to last year, with the same amount saying prices are higher. And 68% of those surveyed think that the current economic conditions in the state are good, with 10% saying excellent. And importantly, 25% of the members say that property taxes are a top client concern. All the data is available for you to review on njrealtor.com. We can't forget to remind everyone that Triple Play is rapidly approaching. December 9th through the 12th, we'll be down in Atlantic City once again for a week of classes, the Trade Expo, Tuesday nights, the main event, the President Gala for Angela Socoli, and so much more. I can't wait to break out my tux. It's one of the best weeks of the year. Don't forget the RPAC High Roller Suite, a $250 investment pledge or more will get you access to a bunch of amenities regular attendees just won't have. We're talking massages, a hot buffet lunch, a gourmet coffee bar, manicures, and even psychic readings. It's a great place to come and decompress between classes and events. You're going to need it, Eileen. That's for sure. That's it for this industry update. I'm Eileen Horowitz. And I'm Jared Grasso. Remember, we are New Jersey Realtors, the voice for realtors from your house to the state house. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.